These people, as they know more of what scientists know, think, I guess, more like scientists do, don't end up forming the opinions that scientists have. They just become more reliable indicators of what people who have their values tend to think about this. Right? So here are these two explanations. Here's a way to, to think about the relationship between them. Right? What I'm showing you here is not evidence of <laughs> too little rationality. In some sense, it's evidence that people are being too rational in extracting from evidence that they're being shown the kind of information that's most important in their the lives. The cost of being out of line with my cultural group on an issue that now becomes kind of a symbol of whether I'm really part of the team or not is high. The cost of getting science wrong is zero. Wouldn't you imagine that people, rational people, would attend to the information of what it is their, their group believes? And you don't even have to be a genius in science to figure out how that works. But if you're good at science and you're good with numbers, you can do an even better job because now you can start reading books and making your own arguments and so forth. Right? That's the nature of the problem.